today I've got Milton and Adley sitting by the window here so we can finally um, see everyone in sunlight and not in the horrible and terrible basement light that I usually film in, especially when I do the filming near my craft desk that's buried all the way down in the basement and there's no way to get any proper natural lighting going on and I think it's a real shame because I I don't know, I feel like it's not... I can't enjoy the way my dolls look under that horrible light. It's like, ugh, it's just, I can't stand it sometimes. It, it makes me want to not take pictures or put them in a video because of that sometimes. So I'm, I'm really happy that I can do this. But as you can see, it's not, it's not everything in the diorama. It's just the little grandfather clock, Milton's high back chair, this little set of um, drawers which are behind this cabinet and the new ottoman that I made recently over the weekend plus um, Milton's oriental rug so I was going to show you um, oops, sorry for the shaky camera I was going to show you some stuff I've been making for my dolls and some thoughts so first things first um, you'll see here on the desk well, two things that came in um, over Christmas break, actually, I forgot I, I never shared them. I recently got this over over two months ago now, um, this really cool dagger. I'm thinking it's going to go in the antique shop. Uh, the scabbard is real metal. Um, this top, the handle, is plastic, and so is the body of the pen, because that's what this actually is. You see that tip there? It's a pen. And I think it's just a really lovely, it's got a really lovely design on it. And then of course I got this little goblet, little metal goblet. There's Milton's teacup and there's a goblet next to each other. Back there I've just set up a little bit of something. It's um, the chessboard. Milton's radio and two books which are the Hamlet book and the mystery of the yellow room here is something that I've been working on uh, I've got them set up in the little cream jug for my my little tea set Let me just pull this back here so I do have these pens here. I made two of them, I think, over the summer. That was from last year. So that's these two pens here. This is a silver one, um, and I cut a little piece of metal to make it mimic the dip nib, like the dipping nib for a fountain pen. And then this one's just a regular gold pen. It has a little gem at the top. These three are the new ones that I made over the weekend. The first one is the silver one. I tried to add more detail to it. Um, so there's this little pin here, the little ball at the end. And it's got the little clip at the side. There's a lot of glue, it's kind of messy. Um, and there's a little blue gem at the top. So I was trying to make it look like a retractable pen. So like the push button here. They're all about an inch and a half in length. Some are a little taller or a little longer than that. The next one I made was this one that's a little bit um, ornate as well. Oops. It's got corrugated body and the little design at the top. Some silver at the end. And this last one, um, this one was a bit difficult to do because I wanted to make it different than the other pens. This one is one with a cap on it. So it's a black plastic cap that I had to drill and sort of hollow out there so you, this can as the cap. There's a little gold bar 
and a little gem at the top and a little gold band around the perimeter at the bottom. And the actual pen is gold. And in here it's holding a piece of graphite lead so that I can write with it. Not that not that I want to always write with it because I don't know what I would do if I ran out of lead. I just think it looks cool like this. And so if I put this in Milton's pocket, I don't want the graphite going all over the place, especially on his clothing. So I'm glad it has this cap to protect it. So that's the pen collection. I think I want to keep making more of them. The same with my magnifying glasses. None of them, no two pens will be exactly alike. I think it's just fun to come up with as many designs as possible. And as tiny as they are, one pen, one pen takes hours, like hours and hours. Maybe this one's a little more simple, maybe about two hours, but something like this, about four to five hours to put together. And that, that does not include like actually searching for the materials itself. I realize now I'm not going to have enough room if I keep adding more pens. I'll have to find a new container because this is my the cream that the cream holder for the tea set, so I don't want to I don't want this to be the permanent pen holder. So actually, Adley is sitting on one of my else my other new updates or the new projects that I just finished. Here's one of the spiral notebooks gonna move her for a bit and here's that <clears throat> new ottoman so this is some padding um, you've seen this before the wood block with the pawn pieces at the bottom there's four pawn pieces there so there's a new padded top it's all stuffed and that came from a shirt <laughs> which is no longer usable that's this here that with that paisley pattern I'm sure I can, I can make more pillows with this, which I might do. So there's a gold button there, and around it is a stretchy headband, that braided headband, um, which I no longer use because it actually broke, so I saved that and I wrapped it around here. And then at the corner there's these little strings, just to give it a little bit of detail there. And I think it's a good, it's a bit high to be considered an ottoman, so I think of it more as like just a sitting, a sitting stool. There's Miss Adley. Oops. Oh, if you see her hair, I've straightened her hair out because I need to redo all her curls. So I gave her a little hair treatment, and now we're going to put the curls back in, probably today or tomorrow. She's so pretty. Uh, next update, I'll have to move Milton. Um, Let's see here, he's reading his files. I'll have to take those away from him. Oops, I should move this. It's a little cup of tea. And Milton with his glasses. And you can see the eye putty that's stuck there on his nose to hold the glasses in place. So here's the high back chair. And you can see it in all of its torn and beaten glory. Um, it's got like a, tore, a tear there and a lot of scratches everywhere. So there's that same material from the shirt. I cut a square of the fabric out and I probably should um, try to finish the edges. Um, I'll probably do that someday when I get around to working on the sewing machine and trying to learn how to control it. Because I, I don't, I've tried it before and I can't seem to like feed the clothing in straight, so I, I sort of gave up um, last year, but I'm going to try to get back on that. And here are two pillows. Here's a, a round one with a button, and it's also the paisley fabric from the shirt. And this one is from an old jacket with these um, zigzag stripes, cream and black, with little speckles of color throughout. I just think it makes the chair look more 
personal and lived in. It was looking really just empty, and I think it looks a lot better this way. Let's put Mr. Milton back in his chair. So last thing I want to talk about, um, and I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel kind of proud of myself, but a little disappointed. So um, today's actually my first day of no longer having work. And I'll be doing some freelance for a while, but freelance is obviously not a steady or guaranteed source of income, so. But actually, I, I, even though this is my first day of no longer having a job, um, I came into some money unexpectedly, which would have allowed me to be able to purchase Stella. Like it was enough money to purchase Stella, buy her some clothing. Um, but, you know, that money, I, I just can't do it. Like it's, it's a pretty decent amount but I should just hold on to it in case of emergency. Like if something really terrible happens while I'm unemployed, I, that money will come in handy. So I'm going to be very sad about this decision, but I'm deciding to not touch it, just keep holding on to it until another job comes by and then maybe I can finally dip my hands into it and probably um, purchase Stella then. But for now, that's not possible. I mean, it is possible, but to be sensible and rational about this, I'm going to not purchase her. So even though it kills me to think that I could be hitting the the buy button, like purchasing her and putting that order in right now, it's not going to happen. Oh well. Someday, someday soon, possibly maybe the end of this year, or maybe the beginning of next year. We shall see. But for now, I mean, look, I'm really happy with my doll collection, and I've been really, like, getting into continuing all the crafting stuff. So, I mean, if Stella comes, it's just another large addition to my to-do list. So I'm going to just concentrate on what I have now. And like I said, purchasing will be at a minimum. Um, I am waiting for some stuff to come in the mail, though, that's been purchased, like, two months ago. So there's there's that stuff coming in, but other than that, um, everything I'm just gonna look at my own stash and try to make my own stuff. And I'll keep sharing all those little projects with you, and hopefully some tutorials. Um, and probably more tags. I just did the tag video by Edward Insane, her, her recent one called Dream Productions Tag. That one was a lot of fun, so hopefully I'll put that up soon as well. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video with hopefully more updates. Bye.